Once a year, the top figures in Bavarian politics gather to commemorate Franz Josef Strauss, the man celebrated as something between the patron saint and godfather of modern Bavaria. Germany's interior minister Horst Seehofer is here too. Infamous in Berlin as the troublemaker in Angela Merkel's government, here too calls for him to go are getting louder. State Premier Markus Söder wants to succeed both Seehofer and his big idol Strauss. There should be no space for democratic parties further right than us. The far-right AfD campaigned that Strauss would have voted for them. He'd have fought them. Here in Lower Bavaria, many voters have fled from the CSU to the far right. But Bavarian support for the far-right AfD is patchy, making this a prime political battleground. The room is packed as the AfD's parliamentary group leader arrives here near Degendorf at the AfD's strongest constituency in Bavaria so far. She's come all the way from Berlin because she knows that these regional elections are about much more than Bavaria alone. Fear and xenophobia is a driving force for many here tonight. I can no longer let my kids out on the street on their own with what I see on TV or hear on the radio. Just can't do it anymore. The main issue is security. I have children and we're really afraid for our children. The figure of Bavaria looms large over the Oktoberfest, generally a politics-free zone, but the state election is mostly being fought in the name of defending what it celebrates best and Bavarians hold most dear. Homeland, parties, good quality of life. Homeland, being happy, Oktoberfest. At the Abbey of Otto Beuren, visitors from around the world have been welcomed for more than a thousand years. Merkel is here today. It's her only appearance with Markus Söder. She calls for confidence in being German as antidote to fear of others. Those who are no longer aware of their own foundations, of course, don't know how to integrate others. And in this debate about Islam, I sometimes get the sense that some may have become jealous, that others are living their religion while we forget ours. Despite a strong economy, the public are unhappy and turning away from the CSU in both directions. The Green Party candidates see themselves as living proof of a left-wing alternative. I believe the citizens of Bavaria are done with politicians and others spreading hate and fear. The polls predict the Greens could become Bavaria's second strongest political force and could join government. For the first time in German post-war history, this Bavarian election campaign smacks of pro-change sentiment. At the very least, that's expected to blow away Angela Merkel's interior minister, Horst Seehofer, but it could also deal another blow to her own grip on power.